All right. Music on. Hi there, Nightlet. All right, let's get into this. Hey, Jeffrey. In the lurk while you sleep? Sounds good. <laughs> Hope you have a good night. Thank you for being here. All right, so in celebration of actually finishing Celeste, I guess in some sense of the word, first pass through at least, I'm gonna make a strawberry pie. Let's see here. Got some Celeste lo-fi going on in the background. I might stop every once in a while. Uh -uh. Hope I don't get too many ads. <laughs> All right, so I got the recipe over here pulled up on my phone, which I've also sent in the Discord. Let me grab it real quick. First of all, we're gonna make the dough since that one needs to chill for a little bit. And we're gonna grab two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. Let me spoon that in here instead of making a big old mess. So I'm not exactly sure where the recipe actually is from, like if it's from the game or someone made it in the style of Celeste or what happened with that, but in any case, it's cute. I'm into it. So we're making a strawberry pie according to that recipe. Hope it's a good one. If not, I guess we'll find out. It's about a cup. And one more. And in advance, I've already cut up the butter and chilled that. So don't have to wait for that at all. Even though the idea between spooning, between, behind, spooning all this into a mold was to not make a huge mess, I am in fact still making a huge mess.
That's about two cups. If we need any more, I can always add more. But we'll close that up for now. What's next? Sugar, three tablespoons. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball that. Don't believe that this needs to be exact. We'll go for one, two, and three, and hope this is about the size of a tablespoon. And I can already see I forgot to grab an ingredient. This also calls for ice water, so I'll be grabbing that in just a minute. Uh, the next thing is butter. Three sticks or one and a half cups. Hey, Pixie Dust. How are you? How's it going? Let's see here. Okay. So the instructions is chop the butter into small pieces and chill in the fridge. We've done that. Mix flour, Water, sugar, and, and salt. 17. Hey, Inverter. How are you? Mix flour, sugar, and salt in a large bowl or processor. So we need some salt. Two teaspoons, it says. Once again, just eyeballing that. I'd say that's about good. Good, thank you for asking, and how about you? I'm good, thank you. Did you get up to anything fun lately? I am making a celebratory strawberry pie since we finished Celeste last week. I'm good. <laughs> Can't wait for to have strawberry pie in a little bit. All right, so we got that. Mix in ice water a few tablespoons at a time until a sandy cohesive dough forms. Oh no, first mix chilled pieces of butter into the ingredients. All right, let's do that. Hey little potato, how are you? How's it going? So I got him big old bowl of butter here which I have cut up into cubes little bits and I'm just gonna pretty much be mashing this in with my hands played a little Animal Crossing and now laundry and housework sounds good what were you uh, doing in Animal Crossing I'll be in lurk mode sounds good Good luck with your housework and everything. <laughs> I feel like I hear a lot of people doing laundry while uh, having my stream on. <laughs> Just daily stuff. <coughs> Still gotta get into that, of course. Talk to the NPCs and the villagers and everything. Pretty good, currently at school and people are staring at me. <laughs> what are they staring for? Are you like physically at school? I probably have already asked that before. Stuck playing Pokemon Sword on the Switch and Apex Legends on the PC. Oh, really? <laughs> How are they? Alright, Pixie Dust, have a good lurk. Thank you for being here. So, I'm mixing this up until the butter is basically incorporated good enough, but still like a little bit chunky. Let's just say I don't have the straightest clothing style. Oh! I thought it would have something to do with like watching streams while in class but no <laughs> tell me about it i love like alternative clothing styles this is quite the hand workout i'm noticing so i found this like lo-fi have a break from French? Then I have French? Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Classes are back in uh, on here, aren't they? Gosh, <laughs> I'd completely forgotten. Well, I mean, high school really is the time to get into those kind of clothing styles before you need, like, actual work clothes and all that stuff, you know? Wearing a black turtleneck with a short sleeve blouse over it. Oh, that sounds cute. It's 
sounds like something I would wear. <laughs> Although, white blouses don't look good on me. Or, blouses in general. To be honest. I'm baking a strawberry pie. So, we finished Celeste. And at the end of Celeste... I'm not sure if you were there for that, but at the end of Celeste, basically, you get down at the bottom of the mountain, and Madeline makes a strawberry pie for everyone. Everyone that we encountered during the game. Oh, you missed it? No problem. That's basically what happens. You get down to the bottom of the mountain, and with the strawberries that you collected along the way, is uh, what you bake the strawberry pie with. Which is also a fun little, like, I guess, hmm, what'd you call that? Just a fun little detail that, depending on how many strawberries you have, the, the cake changes, the pie changes. Like, if you have very few strawberries, it's basically, like, <laughs> it has, like, a tiny little layer of strawberries in it. Your whole hand would have, would have ABS after mixing those. What? <laughs> But yeah, so it changes based on how many strawberries you have. I'm doing good here. Getting the butter and flour all well incorporated. Oh, abs. Oh, that's what you mean. <laughs> it's like ABS. <laughs> but no, you're right. My hand's gonna have a six pack after this. We're getting there. You can see like it's becoming nice and crumbly and like almost sandy in texture. So that's good. And then after this, I'm going to have to grab some ice water real quick. I always have to throw a little bit of the dough. <laughs> so yeah, got to grab some ice water after uh, mixing this up well. Had a history test I forgot to study for and got a... 7.3 no way good job it was about like uh french times right like french revolution era i think you told me that earlier there we go i think this is about good i don't want to over mix this cool good job i don't want to over mix this because like i don't want to melt the butter if you do, you don't really get like a nice flaky dough texture. I wanted to study, but I could not read my notes. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, trying to scrape a little bit of this off of my hands. <laughs> I've been there though, not being able to read my own notes. Alright, I think this is as good as I'm going to get it off my fingers. I had a towel around here somewhere. I swear I did. Oh, it's right behind me. Yeah. As good as it's gonna get. I'll just wipe it off. Gonna buy some snacks for you, Rebecca. Alright, sounds good. Alright, I am gonna go ahead and grab some ice water. And I'll be back in just a second. Because I always gotta forget something. <laughs> Alright, be back in a sec. waifu shrek i was just gonna go get some uh ice water i will be right back but i saw you just coming in so i thought might as well say hi hi how are you i'll be right back
All right, I am back. This is my swamp. Get out, me swamp. <laughs> All right, got my ice water. And let's see what it says exactly. Pour in ice water a few tablespoons at a time until a sandy, cohesive dough forms. Using a processor, pour in slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, sounds good. Wanted to buy something that it was cash only? Oh no, that's annoying. And these times, cash only? Alright, so I'm just gonna add in a little bit. It's not literally ice water, but I think it's good enough. And I'll be using a spoon to mix this in for now. I think just a little bit will do it for this dough. It already seems pretty cohesive to me. Normally it's also a card. It's like a machine. Oh, it's like the card option not working. mix this in real well. Looks pretty good. So far, so good. <laughs> Let me uh, scooch this in a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so far we got a pretty decent pie dough. Honestly, I gotta say, pie crust is like my least favorite thing to make. Just out of power. Oh, that's annoying. What were you gonna get? Right, I can see that it's starting to make little strands, so I'm gonna stop it here. Doesn't need to be super well mixed in at all. And I do not want it to develop lots of gluten and make it like a chewy dough. See an Albert Heinlein quote? <laughs> True. My yeah, kitchen towels. Maltesers, ooh, those are some of my favorites. So for now, I'm going to, let's see here, split the dough in half, then flatten into two discs. I don't feel like doing that. Wrap in plastic wrap and chill in the fridge for at least one hour before use. I guess I'll do that. <laughs> All right, let me see. Where's my plastic wrap? There we go. I guess if I must. I saw this hack online at some point that like you could push in the sides and like that would cause the cling film to not like unroll or like roll out of the packaging. It doesn't work. It makes sense that it would work, but it doesn't to me. Gosh, this music just got really loud. There we go. Turn that down a little bit. I'm gonna join my school's GSA. Ooh, what is that? Gotta get my hands dirty again. Two halves. That's not right. That seems good enough. Hi, there's three elements. Let's form this into discs and wrap this in some plastic wrap. I really try to use very little plastic wrap. But if you gotta, you gotta. Gay Straight Alliance? Oh, cool. I don't believe my school had anything like that. All right, that's one. This is really not a sandy dough. It's almost more wet than it is sandy. But oh well. I 
you have a good stream. I have to go for a while, but I'll definitely rejoin if you're still streaming. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much for joining. And I uh, hope to see you again in a little bit. Good luck with uh, whatever you're doing. All right, let's form this into another disc. I think this one might be a little bit bigger, but who cares? It's all good. There we go. Two discs. <laughs> Bye, Waifu Shrek. See you later. All right. And that is the pie crust done. I'm gonna go drop that into the fridge real quick. And then we can move on to the strawberries. Be right back. Alright, there I am again. People across from me are yelling so loudly. What for? What are they yelling about? Alright. New thing, new bowl. So, let's see what it says. It says preheat the oven. Got that all dealt with. Whole and half strawberries. So, basically this recipe is using fresh strawberries. I couldn't get fresh strawberries. At least not for a bit a little bit of a normal price and probably i wouldn't have even be, been able to get good ones so i got frozen ones and thawed them so i don't have to hold them but i will cut them into bits they're talking about how they have a fight at five. Oh my goodness <laughs> high school is a weird place man i feel like I feel like my camera's a little bit bright, so let me change that real quick. That's better. <laughs> yeah, man. High school's weird. People have fights and just don't get into it. <laughs> That's my best advice. So yeah, anyways, uh, half the strawberries. I think I'll do like thirds for some of them if they're bigger. Then mix in cornstarch, salt, lemon juice, sugar, and vanilla. Sounds good. So weird, I hate it. <laughs> I understand. I can imagine. High school is a weird time. So I got some juicy strawberries here. Online school sucks even more. Yeah, are you happy to be back? Do a normal school? I would be for sure. So yeah, these strawberries are gonna look a little mushy. They're meant to. They were frozen, now they're thawed. It's all good. They were gonna get mushy anyways. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna slice these into some little slices. But um, what is it like to be back at normal school? Are you enjoying it? I'm noticing that even though these strawberries have been in the fridge for like the entire night, <laughs> I get that one a lot. Should not be watching this. You're making me hungry. I know. <laughs> Thank you for being here anyways. I think I was saying something, but I cannot remember what it was. 
Oh, about the strawberries. So I put them in the fridge yesterday, and I can feel that some of them are still a tiny bit frozen in the middle. Big confusion. I really envy, envy your strawberries. They're so juicy. They're only that juicy because they were frozen, to be honest. <laughs> but Dutch strawberries are pretty good. The only problem is all the good ones we export to different countries. So we get the slightly less flavorful ones here. I like it. Our class is split in two and I have them put with my best buddy. Oh, good. Happy to hear that. There we go. Ooh, my hands are getting cold from slicing these cold strawberries. Dutch strawberries are the best. If you can get a good one, for sure. Ooh. Gotta stop for a sec. My fingers are getting frostbite. <laughs> all right, all good. But yeah, like if we got like good ones in the summer, ooh, those are good strawberries for sure. I saw this like cooking video on probably Facebook or something a while back. And they were like barbecuing pieces of pound cake and like putting whipped cream and berries and everything on it. And I was like, that looks so good. I want to make that. Luckily, my dad is into barbecuing. Do you guys like barbecuing? Or do you have family that really likes it? So I'm going for slices here because that's at least how I remember the pie looking. Seemed to me like the strawberries were all sliced up. There we go. Summer strawberries and watermelons are so good. Oh my gosh. Man, watermelons might be my favorite fruit. They're so good. But yeah, both fantastic. Ooh, and raspberries. My dad has this huge raspberry bush in his backyard. We barbecue so many times in the summer. It's so fun too. I really enjoy doing it. I like barbecuing with my dad. Get some veggie burgers on the grill. <laughs> Is that the song like whispering? That's so weird. It is from the song. Okay, weird. It's like throwing me off, like the whispering noise. Anyways, yeah, I like barbecuing. It was obviously different when I did still eat meat, but like, I don't know. Don't mind it too much when I don't. <laughs> Still a good time. Oh, my fingers are getting cold again. I don't know. Help the girl I like is across from me by panic. <laughs> Say hi. Talk to her. What's she like? I mean, if she act actively goes to sit across from you, I'd say that's a good sign. There we go. Hey, Red Velvet. Annie, I'm watching a K drama, and the boyfriend is too overprotective. I hate him so much. <laughs> Gross. Too overprotective boyfriend. Don't like it. I kind of can't because I already told her I like her. Oh, really? What did she say? How'd you respond? I mean, 
still. She said she ain't ready for a girlfriend yet. Oh. Well, as long as you guys can be friends, that's good too, right? How long ago was that? But she does feel the same. Oh, that's good. That's so nice to hear. So tell me, what is she like? All right, we're really getting plowing through these strawberries. Three weeks ago? Not ready for a girlfriend either. Too weird right now. It's all good, right? Whenever you're ready. You guys are young. No need to worry about it. As long as you guys are having a good time, right? Hanging out with people you like. And all that stuff. This is gonna be a filled strawberry pie. Hey, Tourist Histories, how are you? Haven't seen you in a little bit. I'm good, how are you? We just finished Celeste last week. So, in celebration, I'm making a strawberry pie. She likes painting in Stardew Valley. Oh, cute. We did that a lot when we were together. Because she is also kind of my ex. Oh, wow, really? Interesting. Huh. How does that work, then? <laughs> I'd rather be single because means I don't have to share food and I don't have to buy for another person but I can't control it if you really like someone you'll feel generous I'm sure <laughs> but yeah don't worry about it <laughs> all right almost done with this big bowl of strawberries and we'll add in all the rest. <laughs> Good enough reason, honestly. If you're not there, you're not there. That's all good. Food is something that you can't share with, in with anyone. <laughs> I don't know. I enjoy sharing food with people I like. We're still really good friends. Oh, good. Well, that's good to hear. So happy spring is finally coming. Can't stand winter anymore. Oh, I'm kind of into it too. I'm usually really, really into like winter and fall, but like somehow I'm kind of excited for the spring. Why do I like K-pop idols? Because they're meant to- they're made for you to like them. Does your boyfriend get the food? I think not. Um, well, I'm the cook in this house most of the time. Not because he can't cook, but just because I take over. <laughs> I really enjoy cooking. But I, of course, share my food with him. But I mean, since we live together, it's mostly our food, I guess. The biggest form of sharing food. <laughs> I'd burn the kitchen down. Oh no! You're not a cook? Bye, French is starting. Hope your pie turns out delicious. Thank you so much, little potato, and thank you for being here. Good luck with your French class. Alright, that's all the strawberries. Wipe my hands off from all this strawberry goo. I think I'll just pour the strawberry goo in with it. nice um where am i gonna put this over here here we go why can't you choose why can't you choose if you want to learn a different language 
that's just not how it works here. <laughs> not really, at least. I mean, in some schools you can, but in general we learn French and German in school here. Let's see here. What's the next thing I need to add to this? I think I'm going to have to add a little more cornstarch to really get this uh, to tighten up a lo little bit. Like sugar, cornstarch, salt, lemon juice, and vanilla. Sounds good. Just eat the strawberries. <laughs> They'd be better with the sugar on top. But yeah, to be honest, I'm glad that we uh, learned so many languages here. Let's see here. How much is all that? So two-thirds two of a cup of sugar. Sugar, strawberries, you're done. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds perfect to me. This just fell off. Fine. Two-thirds of a cup. I am, once again, going to kind of eyeball that. Just fill this up two-thirds of the way, or at least whatever I think is two-thirds. It's almost right. I think one more. Yeah, that looks about good to me. <laughs> Just the whole jar. I hate cup measurements so much in recipes. It always gets me so confused. Oh, same though. I would much rather have the recipe in grams, but this recipe just isn't in grams. Sugar overload, go for it. <laughs> we love a sugar overload. Um, let's see here, cornstarch, three tablespoons. Yeah, recipes with cup measurements are uh, just less convenient to me. Do it in grams. Get yourself a kitchen scale. It's so much more accurate. Oops. Knock this over a little bit. What I do is I add the amount I think would make it taste for me. Well, that works really well in cooking, but like in baking, you can't just add a random amount of... This is not working well. <laughs> you can't just add a random amount of, like, flour, you know? Like, you need to be somewhat precise with it. Me saying that you need to be somewhat precise with it while absolutely pouring cornstarch over everything. Ah, eh, that seems about good. <laughs> there we go. That should be good. Just buy a strawberry for pie form in the store and then film. <laughs> Just act like I made it. See, like, here it is, the strawberry pie. It's all done. What about a watermelon pie? I don't know if that would be good. Warm watermelon? Uh, what else? Salt. Just a couple cracks. Something like that. I messed up so many cakes and cookies with just adding, ra adding random amounts. Always thought I'm a master baker, but nah. Same. I used to think I was so good at baking. Not really. Not really. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I like suck at baking, but like, <laughs> I'm really not as good as I used to think that I was. This lemon juice thing has like a piece of plastic around it and it is becoming a problem there we go if i can beat celeste i can open up a bottle of bottle of oh my god lemon juice <laughs> come on now please might have to call in the troops here <laughs> I cannot open this cap Oh my god, it is so stuck on. 
Hey. Hey. Could you open this for me? <laughs> and that's the benefit. You can't get it open either, can you? I know. Also, I can definitely shove it open. <laughs> Using tools. I am not going to use tools. What else? Vanilla extract. I can open up the vanilla extract. Can you? Do you have like pet names for each other? I mean, for you and your boyfriend? Not really, to be honest. There you go. Just added in a random amount. Slap in the face was deserved. What? what for? Ow. Girl knows how. What? What do you mean? <laughs> I guess I just have to wait for the lemon juice. <laughs> Give it a sec. I'm sure he'll get it open. He has tools. You need a knife? Yeah, that's the easiest way to do it. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds like it's working. When I break up with someone, I want it to be a dramatic breakup. Makes sense. Hey, Trico, how are you? <laughs> Gotta have it be dramatic. How are you, Trico? Just break the... Just break the package film. <laughs> you got this, bud. You got know. it. I don't know. What the hell is this thing? What'd you buy? I just bought lemon juice. No, you didn't. <laughs> I can't get the lemon juice open. <laughs> it's on an unopenable container. Supposedly containing lemon juice, but who's ever going to find out? Weak. Well, we've had a voice reveal before. <laughs> He's been here before. Well, this thing is no longer attached. It should be loose. Well, how are you? I must confess, whenever you ask how I am, I want to reply with, Annie, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I've had that joke before. I have. <laughs> I've heard that one. But I'm glad you're doing well. Still not? No. <laughs> I knew this wasn't my fault. Hi there, Cactus. Hey, Cactus. How are you? We're uh, sitting here waiting for the lemon juice to be opened. Did you get it? You got it. Thank you. <laughs> Tools. It's a contained plastic. How tall am I? I am about five foot three and a half, I guess. <laughs> I'm a little short, but not like super short. For here, I'm short. Song I Song E is such a nice person. Who's that? Is that one of the K-pop people? You got it. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's cut all that out and act as if I could just open it just like this. <laughs> Need to practice my dramatic breakup scene. Absolutely true. All right, one tablespoon of lemon juice. If you go to Asian countries, you're quite tall already. Yeah, exactly. But like Dutch people are notoriously tall. There we go. Nice big spoonful of lemon juice. Song I is in my K drama. Oh, cool. All right, let's mix this up. That was it, right? Yeah. Ooh, this smells really good. This smells like summer. The strawberries and lemon juice and sugar it smells so good. Let's get all that cornstarch mixed in, all that sugar. Ooh, it smells really good. <laughs> I 
this is going to be a good pie. Although, the hard part hasn't happened yet. I have so much trouble with, um, like, forming pie dough. Like, getting it into the right shape. Into the pie shape. Hi, it's, it's your boy Amani. How are you? You cheated on me. I've had enough. Just kidding. I don't have any money. Proceeds to throw a tantrum. Proceeds to take a hundred bucks and eat my stress away. <laughs> Do you use pre-made cake? Uh, no, I made my own pie crust just a minute ago. Right before getting these strawberries ready. So I'll be taking that out of the fridge in a minute. Once I get all this mixed in. Because I'm still seeing some lumps. It does say that to mix this for like five minutes, which seems excessive, but I kind of understand why now. Since do not want lumps of cornstarch in here. But yeah, inverter, that's actually a funny question. Like, how tall are you? I think that's such an interesting thing to like ask towards people who you really haven't seen in real life. You know? It's so interesting to get that perspective. I'm so lazy. I always used to use the store-bought cake where you just smash all the fruit on top. Honestly, that's the best. So much easier. Great, just been busy with family stuff. That's why I haven't been here for a while. That's no problem. Don't you worry about it. I have a second niece now. She was born in January. Also been streaming. No way! Congratulations! How have the streams been going? Congratulations on your new niece. Thank you, Cactus. I always just assume everyone on the internet is tall, and I don't know why. Same, though. Either really tall or really short. You're five foot six? A little, big, a little taller than me. Eat the strawberries. It's a cold soup now. <laughs> Literally, though. Look at how, like, soupy it is. Some people have tall person energy but are short in real life. Ooh. Who do, who do you guys have tall person energy? I think this should be about good. Still a couple little chunks, but oh well. If you guys don't mind, I don't mind. Let me get this one out. It's looking pretty good to me. Five foot seven? Really? You're much taller than I had imagined. Had imagined. Six foot exactly, but I have lots of tall friends, so I never felt tall. Hmm. My little brother is like. Frickin' what, six foot two or something? He is so tall, it's ridiculous. Hey, Smartin, how are you? Welcome on in. There we go. <laughs> you've been, you've been bested. I played Rogue, Rogue Company and Dead by Daylight. Oh, fun. Working so I can't stay long. No problem, bud. Thank you so much for coming in. On PS4? Cool. That sounds like fun. It's a whole world ruler. That's a whole ruler between you and him. I know. <laughs> My brother is like, I believe he's like almost two meters. He might be over two meters. Now that I think of it, I don't remember. 192? Also tall. DDDS, new killer is hot. What? I want to step on me. I'm here for the strawberry pie. Welcome on in, Rice. You've missed a little bit, but not much. I hate their friendship. Oh, really? <laughs> Last year, I got a Nintendo Switch for the first time. Also, Pokemon Sword for Christmas. Unfortunately, I don't have Animal Crossing yet, but I'm going to get it soon. I hope you do. It's so fun. 
Can't wait till summer for all those berries to be harvested. Homemade gooseberry cheesecake is the best. Ooh, that sounds good. I love berries so much. All right, Smyrden, thank you so much for stopping in. Hope you have a good time at work. I am going to grab the pie dough from the fridge real quick. I will be back in just a second. All right, see you guys in just a sec. All right, I'm back. Animal Crossing is not fun. Can't wait for the Hello Kitty items. The Hello Kitty items are gonna be so cute. I just realized I need to roll these out. What am I gonna roll this out on? Yeah, I found this like, um, lo-fi. I don't need to roll it out. I don't need to roll it out. I found this lo-fi Celeste music that I am very into. Been following for two months, 24 days, and two hours. Cool, man. Thank you for being here for that time. I think I'm just gonna smush this into the cake pan. Team change, go to the kitchen. Oh yeah, as if there's room in my kitchen to roll anything out. <laughs> now I think I'm just gonna smush this around a bit and I think that'll be good. Let me check real quick what the recipe says to do. Roll pie dough out. Yeah, whatever. Use one portion to lay in the bottom of a 9-inch pie pan and slice the other into 1-inch strips for the lattice top. We'll figure the lattice top out. Never mind. Google, thinking I was talking to her. 1 month, 27 days. 3 weeks, 6 days, 20 minutes, and 48 seconds. Thank you guys so much for being here. Gosh, 7 months. <laughs> crazy yeah invert has been here since early 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 on basically like well what did we figure out like my third stream basically or something like that all right this pie dough feels kind of wet but whatever I'm sure it'll be fine and if it's not then whatever just gonna kind of smush this into the edges this is not the correct way to make pie dough, but you know what? Who cares? As long as I get pie out of this. Run like that. Yeah, right? Crazy. Thank you for sticking around. Staying along for the ride. You know, pies never cut well anyways, so it doesn't even matter if this pie crust doesn't come out of the pan nicely when I slice it. Whatever. <laughs> as long as I have strawberries in this thing, I'm good. I've never been the type of person to make pies. <laughs> they just never turn out well for me. I try to make apple pies every year. Like during fall, we go and go apple picking, and then I try to make like an apple pie, and it always turns out mediocre. <laughs> wow, you guys, crazy. Also, seven months. Yeah, you guys have been here for a long time. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. It's really cool that you guys have stuck around. Yeah. 
Yeah, this crust is never getting out of the pie, or out of the dish, but whatever. <laughs> I can already feel it's like such a sticky dough. So, yeah, if you ever want to make a Celeste-style strawberry pie, may not be the best pie crust recipe. Or maybe it does work for you, but it did not for me. If I would have tried to roll this out, that would have been a disaster. Can you imagine trying to roll this sticky pie dough out? That wouldn't have worked out well. Would have stuck to everything. No, I'm glad I went this messy, smush it around route. even if it's not the prettiest way. <laughs> Anyone who bakes is like watching this in horror. I would have used to watch this in horror when I was still a baking snob. <laughs> Anyways, guys, what have you been up to? Do you have any plans for this week? I guess it's already Wednesday, huh? Ooh, so, <laughs> since I am addicted to this game, I am going to be playing some Celeste once this is in the oven. So maybe we can finish that B-side from yesterday. Thought that would uh, fill in nicely. Not gonna lie, I thought I had inverter beat. <laughs> you guys are really close. How many days is the difference? I can't scroll back right now because my fingers are all doughy. Four days something hours. Wow. What's your favorite pie? Ooh, good question. My favorite pie... I don't eat that much pie, to be honest. Mostly because I don't want to make it. I really like apple pie. I like blueberry pie a lot. Glad you got addicted to Celeste. It's so fun. <laughs> no problem, Trico. How are your lessons going? Finish lessons. That's cool. Don't you worry about it. This is uh, almost about well smushed around. <laughs> Watch me having my own cooking show and just be like, smush around the pie crust until it looks terrible, but good enough. Going well, except for, except it's told me to say hello, I'm Trico 49 times. Oh my goodness. Pizza no count. <laughs> Pizza is a pie for sure. Oh my goodness. This feels like such a mess. Because it is a mess. It's fine though. It's re it really is fine. Like this will turn out just as well. Mm, maybe not, but it'll turn out just fine. But it's just like <laughs> making me feel weird. Ooh, custard pie. That sounds really good. Ooh, you know what? I'd like to change my answer. Lemon meringue pie is my favorite type of pie. I think I'm going to take some of the other pie crust and just fill up the little bits that aren't, like, filled up. Still cleaning before I sleep. 
Sounds good, sounds good. Ooh, uh, what is that? Chocolate Hoppia pie. I don't think I've heard of that before. Let me take a little bit of this pie crust and just fill in the gaps. And then it'll all be fine. Right, guys? <laughs> It'll be a just fine pie. Adulting. <laughs> Have you guys seen the whole like Gen Z millennial war going on? It's so funny to me. I'm trashy. My favorite pie is the frozen chocolate whip whipped cream pie thing. Ooh, that sounds good though. Chocolate pie is good. I usually think of like fruits when I think of pie, but there's so many different types of pie, of course. <laughs> What's you guys' favorite kind of cake though? How does it always get back to this? <laughs> Hoppy has a mix of coconut and milk. So it's like whipped cream, chocolate, milk, coconut. Ooh, that sounds really good. Ooh, could you send me that in the Discord? That sounds so good. I would love to try that sometime. It's a Canadian thing, I think. I'll send a pic in the Discord. Sounds good. I love coconut and chocolate. I think in America they're called Mounds Bars. Those are like my favorite. Which is fun, because when I was a kid, no one likes coconut. I wonder if actually no one liked coconut, or if it was, if it was just cool to not like coconut back then. <laughs> Seems like something my classmates would be like, oh no, it's not cool to like coconut, we don't like coconut. But in any case, I got to have all the coconut chocolate candies. <laughs> Just remembered, what happened to the bitter gourd you bought? I was gonna use it, I was, but I didn't realize that it was gonna go bad like really quickly. So it went bad in my fridge and I haven't been able to find one since then. Which I feel really bad about, like I had no idea that it was gonna go bad that fast. Is that the same bounty, yeah, bounty bars, that's right. I hate the texture of coconut. It makes my mouth feel weird. You may be allergic to coconut. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't thought of that. It seemed like a pretty sturdy thing. Like if I would keep it in the fridge for like a week or so, it would be fine. But apparently it was not. I do want to get it again because I still want to try out that recipe. It looks really good but I just haven't been able to find them anymore. They might have them back in stock now. I don't know. Should check out my uh, local Asian market. See if I can find it there. This looks decent. <laughs> Send it in Discord, it's amazing. Thank you. That sounds really good. I really like coconut. I wonder if I have any coconut here. Probably. So sent the recipe from the place I always get it at. Oh, sick, thank you. All right, this is as good as I'm gonna get this pie to look. <laughs> I always wonder if, if I was slightly allergic to be fair, but it's only with physical coconut, like coconut cream and milk is fine for me. Well, I mean, I'm allergic to hazelnuts, but only like unroasted hazelnuts, like things like Nutella I'm fine with. So it could still be that you are allergic to just like less processed coconut. Now it's making me hungry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wrap up the rest of this pie crust for now. And let me check out the recipe to see if I need to bake this first or not. Doesn't say so. 
wants us to chill it, but I don't really care. I don't think chilling this is gonna help me in any way anymore. <laughs> How long should I roast the hazelnuts for? I've been mocking. I've been mocking them for 45 minutes and they don't look any more any more cooked. <laughs> hmm. Very good, very good. Hey Loki Yuke, how are you? How's it going? We are almost done with this pie here. I'm just gonna pour in the strawberries now. Oh, heavy. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna do it with the uh, with the power of words, Trico, you're gonna have to go for a little longer. But at some point, they'll they'll reach a breaking point, <laughs> and that's when you'll know. That's when they're good. Then I too will be able to roast the hazelnuts, or roast the hazelnuts, eat the hazelnuts. Let me spread this out a little bit, because on this side, the juice is flowing over. But this looks really good, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm happy with this. I am very interested to see how the pie crust actually turns out. And also, I'm hoping this won't, like, overflow terribly. That was your cringy trico joke for the day it's all good i liked it i thought it was good <laughs> back at work in proper real life school Ooh, how is that favorite cake is ice cream cake or chantilly cake Ooh, both very very good now i'm thinking i don't think i should add any anything on top here right because like okay let me go back and find this, but like, here we go. The pie that, I don't have a strawberry for on top, but the pie that I like got in the game for how many like strawberries I got was this one. You can kind of see that where it's just basically the pie crust with the strawberries and like one strawberry on top. So I think I should just leave it like this, honestly, and maybe make some Something else with the rest of this pie crust. Dr AKA drop it in the freezer and forget about it for the rest of my life. <laughs> Everyone wearing masks all day. So maybe I would have preferred remote learning from home. I can imagine, yeah. From this distance, it kind of looks like chopped hot dogs. No, wait, let me, let me bring you guys in closer. There you go, that looks like strawberries. Ice cream cake is topped here. I'm a sucker for a good marble cake, though. Sounds good, man. There, that doesn't look like chopped hot dogs, now does it? Please say it doesn't. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna drop this in the oven. Let me check real quick, because I think it was something weird with the te temperature. Don't remember how many strawberries I got in Celeste. Do you remember which cake you got? Because there's like... One, two, three, four, five different cakes that you can get. I was so satisfied with just beating it that I didn't even go back to do B-side or anything else. I know how that feels. Speaking of which, once this goes into the oven, we are going to be doing B-side. <laughs> uh, Alright, let me go back to the recipe, check how long it needs to go in the oven for. Um bake for 20 minutes then reduce the temperature and bake for another hour All right 20 minutes and one hour um yeah i'm gonna pop this in the oven and i also at the same time am gonna set up my other stream setup because as you might have noticed this is not where i usually sit and uh, we'll play some celeste so the stream will stop for a little bit hope you guys stick around for a little bit and um should only be like couple minutes <laughs> that the stream is actually not on but it'll take me about 10 minutes to set up over there and we'll pop this in the oven and I hope to see you guys over there while playing Celeste <laughs> all right see you guys in just a second 